What's the matter, sir? I was cleaning out my room and something got stuck in my hover skirt. Now I'm not getting any lift. Oh, let's get out of here. Whoa! Whoa. There. Well, look at this. It's an SOL employee handbook. Hmm, What do you know? I've never seen this before. Welcome to the Forrester family of hostages, making your life miserable for over nine years. Nice. It covers everything. Discrimination policy. Uh I reserve the right to discriminate against anyone I want, especially Mike. Figures. Benefits package. All employees are entitled to smooch my backside. Uh, What does it say about grievances? Hmm, let me see here. Well, grievance procedures. Make your hand into a hard fist, drawing as far away from your face as possible, then keep your hand in place, quickly and forcefully run toward your hand. Well, we'll be right back. Hey. Does it say anything about our dental coverage? Uh, shut up. You have no right to ask. Sorry, Mike. I didn't think you'd take it so personally. No, no, that's what it says in the... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 what the heck? What the hell? What the hell? Uh, what's going on here? We better find out what's going on. Hey, Pearl Drop. Oh, hi, Nike Melson. How do you like my new joystick? Got it at Radio Shack. Say, I was wondering, what does a high-speed tumble do to your stomach? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I am just messing with everybody today. <laughs> what I do? What I do? Oh, hang on now, feel sick. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, you guys, the retro fire's been activated and the ship's initiating a re entry protocol. What? Prepare for gravitational insertion. Mike, this means uh, we're headed to uh, Earth. Uh, <laughs> Earth, that's my home. Yes, yes. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Yes, Earth to yeah. Earth. <laughs> to Earth. Earth to Earth. <laughs> Bro, you're wrecking the moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> Apparently, you initiated re entry protocol for the satellite. Well, make it not protocol the re entry, make it better. Well, you broke off the stick of joy, it's irreversible and wet bread. <laughs> You're omnipotent, do something! Uh, Pearl, the Mountain Dew you so playfully poured into my brain pan affected my gravitational control as well as my speech center's table dog purple liquefy. No, damn it, no, they will not escape me. I'll see them dead first. Okay. So, hey, Lawgiver, why don't you just take and use the satellite's self destruct mechanism? We have one? Yeah, right there. <gasps> Bobo, I'm a genius. Take this, losers. Uh, chili squint. <laughs> Ah, ah, this is it. I love you, Crow. I love you, Servo. I love you, Gypsy. I love you, Mike. I love you, Servo. I love you, Crow. I love you, Gypsy. I love you, Mike. I love you, Servo. I love you, Gypsy. I love you, Mike. Oh. Um, Servo, do you want to I was going to gonna say it. I just couldn't think of your name. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, the satellite of love is headed back to Earth. Paper not bound to feet. It's as good as done, Lawgiver. No! Oh, 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 
can't be good for us. No. See? <laughs> oh, Raging clip art. <laughs> Re-entry commencing. Entering low orbit. We'll be landing in one hour and 55 minutes. Hooray! Yeah. Hooray! We did it! We did well, it! Well, I mean, we didn't really do it, but... Uh... Well, it was done by someone! Yes. Yeah. Someone did it! Yeah. It was done! Oh, so you're coming back to Earth, huh? So I failed, huh? Ah! That's fine. That's okay. Good for you. But there's still one button that works, so you're still getting your final movie. I give you Diabolic. If it gives you half the hell I have had to endure keeping you captive, it will have all been worth it. Oh, foolish sign, let's go. Boy, we're not gonna be hearing that back on Earth. Yeah, let's enjoy. Yeah. Would you get in here, please? Boy, we're not gonna be hearing that either. Let's enjoy. Yeah. Come on! Let's go! Ah! Ladies have their own gang now. Uh, the hyena's stuck on. Oh no, is this a Pink Floyd video? The Dr. Pepper formula requires very high security. At least it's a nice orderly bank robbery. All right, how are we doing? Uh, Last bag. Uniforms designed by William Rehnquist. All plain paper. <laughs> I wonder how those guys would feel if they knew they were guarding all of this waste paper instead of $10 million, huh, Sarge? They'd feel hurt, sir. Well, that's it. Sergeant Sideburns reporting. Just watching your film. Don't worry about me. If Hitler had won and hired Stu Sutcliffe as a fashion designer, Malcolm Forbes and friends go camping. Well, good luck with the movie, you guys. Mike Brady, World Headquarters. We're ready. We need your desk to make sandwiches. Spring break! This is the largest single shipment of dollars ever made at 6 o'clock in the morning. There was a larger one at 7 a.m. once. You please sign here, Inspector. Right. I've never seen such precautions just to reach the port. The whole underworld worries me less than a single man. Michael Jeter. Diabolic? Excuse me. They're waiting for you, Inspector. Good luck. Uh, uh. Well, that was an inappropriate response. <laughs> yeah. The Scrooge McDuck fortune. Boy, Laquilense is rich. Well, that makes exactly ten million dollars. All right, you can take that away. Here. Well, I'm gonna feed this bag to the dog. Mm, I really do have a cud. <laughs> oh, there it goes. The liquid center just exploded. Oh. The young Mr. Boston story. Sir, are you trying to seduce me? Boy. God, there's some crap all over me. What the hell is this stuff? Well. When I said dress up real tough, this is what you come up with? This is wonderful. Just like... Does anyone want to marry me? And dignified, too. Are they meant to be diplomats? Uh, they're the best men we have. Uh-huh. We did this. You're a diplomat? Look sophisticated. 
Sophisticated, not gay. Uh, you're a man of the world. Polished, witty, bored. What's that? You have a chili stain. Here, put it in your hat. And these. Oh. All right, let's go. Driving off to the store. Gonna pick up some bread. Maybe stop by the post office. Meet Dolores for lunch. Hope they're serving that ham. Oh, yeah. Look, each seagull has its own parking space. <laughs> Michael will lost. You know, this music would work better with women in bikinis shaking all over the place. I guess that's true of any music, really. We're going over to John Steed's house for a kegger. <laughs> Wild thing. Man, that is one Europe road. <laughs> Uh, this is air surveillance ship number one. Now over port zone. Nothing suspicious. Repeat, nothing suspicious. Embarkation to proceed as scheduled. Over. Chenko here. Have received. Did somebody shut those howler monkeys up? Cranes. What? Duh. Giant robotic seahorses. <gasps> Some movies just won't stop and ask for directions. Clown gas. Ooh, Joni Mitchell must be nearby. What the? Hmm? What's happening? Inspector! Inspector! Yes! Yeah. It's the Dick Butkus newspaper grill. Stay with the Rolls Royce. Boy, Ted, when you let one, you don't kid around. Whew. Hey, you're having sex with me. Now cut that out. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, no. Where's the Rolls? It disappeared. What's that, you moron? Inspector, we turned around. <laughs> and it was yeah. gorgeous like that. There it is. Rolls is going to heaven. Oh, they're great cars. Yeah. They're downwind of the rainbow gathering. And still Union Carbide claims they're meeting all guidelines. <laughs> Starring this Muslim woman. You know, when he takes that mask off later, his weird tan will give him away. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's not that funny. There's all your laundry. Uh-oh, it's getting groovy. Oh, God, is someone going to tell us that something is shagadelic, man? Oh, no, no. A wheel of fortuna. Uh-oh. <laughs> Mike, I need my drama bean. Oh. <laughs> Mario Donen. Renzo Palmer. Never start a movie in the middle of the spin cycle. Starring a bunch of vowels and Terry Thomas. Well, thank goodness they had three people on Soggetto. The true story of spin art. Man, I feel sicker than when I went on the Tilt-A-Whirl ten times in a row. The movie just started, it's already circling the drain. And I must agree, by the way. Dee Dee Da, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, slam enough espresso and you'll see the world like this. This must be from the point of view of a scrubbing bubble. You know. <laughs> the wall I are deep down. A 
French-Italian co-production, so I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of cheese involved here. Keep my potty down? Women and their toilet seat issues. Uh, under his firm and visionary Duretto, I feel safe. Gentlemen, let's open our movie with a 10-minute shot of a spinning radish. Reverse Raccoon Man. I never should have let that balloon melt on my face. Diabolic is late for daycare. Honey, you forgot your lunch. Wisconsin kills speeders. Run that metered ramp, will ya? This is the one circumstance where driving drunk is actually safer. Yeah, they have a bowling ball glued to their runner. Whoa, where are we going? Oh, hey, look out. hey, we're going in the Hey, helicopter Y3, the coast patrol. Helicopter Y3, the coast patrol. Attention, attention. Jaguar spotted. Turned off. Main highway heading towards sea in your district. Roger. Affirmative. Do something affirmative, Roger. Thanks. Hey, look, that's pretty. Oh, a lot of drift on my steering wheel. Ah, this is a metaphor for arterial plaque reduction. Uh -huh. Good thing Brett Eklund is waiting for him. Aha, uh -huh, my licorice suit held up well. Thanks for helping me, Mom. Hey, damn it. Make the tunnel entrance look like a slice of bread. Uh -oh. George Jones tours Italy. Uh, you're flooding it. Tar fashions never really took off, did they? No, oh, that was my skin. Deep, deep tongue. <laughs> I'm driving with my whipper. Hmm, I don't know, a white car before Memorial Day? Whiskey. Stop playing with that balloon. Uh, a giant earth clam is attacking them. This will fool them unless they look at it. You know, it's hard to get contractors who will do this kind of work. Signing the complete secrecy agreement on pain of death and all. Well, you may get nauseous and lightheaded from the exhaust fumes, but still, it's pretty cool, huh? Great hideout, but it's hard to get your Sunday paper delivered. Had Willy Wonka's contractor do this part. Yeah, you go through mop and glow by the case, keeping this place shiny. You really need this much stuff to get some tail in the 60s? I thought a hi-fi would do the job. Put an awning over my psych. You like it? Tanning lamp works better if you get out of the car. We're out of gas. <laughs> mm hmm, mm hmm, good. Okay, okay, okay. All right, and you have those too. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Let's have a tantric quickie. 
Mm. Mm. Oh, you smell like a tire store. This is just a good Samaritan he met in the tunnel. <laughs> She's a great Samaritan. You don't mind if I swallow your face, do you? Oh, oh, sorry, some unexpected rubbing in the outfit, so I fell. <clears throat> Fancy schmancy jiffy loop they go to. Well, this is just my mud room. <laughs> wow. Occasionally a spelunker just wanders in. Hey, what the hell? Then they just go and have really quick, lousy sex. <laughs> oh, you have cats, huh? Are you gonna help me with the groceries, or...? He loves her so much, he bought her a walk-in diamond. Hmm, I love your habit trail. You need some baseboard heaters in this tunnel. It's freezing in here. Would you please get Ravi Shankar out of the living room? Oh, I need to get out of these bulky, restricting clothes. I am so bunched up in this thing. Wow, dangerously steep stairs. You're watching the stairs. Oh, Poor Mike. Mike. Gee whiz. Why? I ought to take down that Simon game I super glued on the ceiling. Considering the guy who owned it before had a North Woods theme going, I think he's done pretty well. <laughs> High tech for a bathroom fan. <sighs> well, it makes the hall to our theater look efficient. Might as well throw these Hardy's wrappers away now while I'm here. Oh, I can't wait to get into my loose fitting latex sweats. Turns out he's just house-sitting. Yeah, he actually lives in an efficiency over at the campus with some guys. Well, my cherry tomato detector is operational. Good. Oh, damn, blew the place up again. Gotta learn the combination. I went out to get something. What was this? Oh, Brad, damn it. He's pretending to be the pretender. I really should get a checking account. Well, I'm just delaying the moment she finds out I have an undescended testicle. Uh, no. Ah, hmm? oh, they're really gonna have to get their money laundered. Steve Forbes and his wife. You know, with my budget, I'd be rolling around in a handful of chains. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the paper cuts are brutal. Hey, I, I, I have a hundred caught in my throat. <laughs> the young Alan Greenspan. They got pretty badly injured when they tried this with gold bars. When they make love in English pound notes, their sex is 50% better. Oh, you're the friendliest teller I ever met. Last time I just got a toaster. Now, if he had stolen just a little less, I could see her ass right now. <laughs> Got grief. Member FDIC. <laughs> well, I'm all packed and ready. 
Nice suitcase, monogrammed and everything. Uh, actually, I got it at Mojo Nixon's garage sale. Ah, well, you, you got nothing but bags of rice in here. Yep, sure is good for you. It's bleached and enriched. I'll bleach and enrich you. Say, Mike, could you grab my bag here? Sure. Just put my stuff in a bunch of these babies. Ah, I see. You got your dirty laundry and uh -huh. a Schmidt beer sign of course. and a whoopee cushion. Yep, and the food I cleaned out of the fridge. Oh, an open tin of smoked oysters. And there's some loose paella on the bottom there if you want to dig in. Ah. Not my new best friend. Stop pestering me. Scram, would you? Wow, for crying wow. out loud. So, Tom, what are you going to do with all the spare ewes you've collected over the years? Yeah, you know, I just did a head count, and boy, that made quite a few of me. <laughs> 517 at the last count. Wow, yeah, that's far too much you. You, mm. you should be limited to one or less. Exactly. Uh, so I'm just going to enact the self-destruct mechanism I planted in all the me's. Ah, here goes. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh Right here, Mike. Say, have you seen my remote detonating device? Oh, man. Uh, this may take a while to sort out. We'll be right back. <laughs> there it is. Well, here goes. Uh. In the tradition of the great fantasy epics comes a new fable for the ages. Or maybe not. From the reunited writers and cast of Mystery Science Theater 3000, it's the adventures of Edward the Less, a Sci-Fi.com online original series. Every week on Sci-Fi.com. Your government, ever vigilant, yes. determined yes. to stamp out, to crush the current crime wave, <laughs> has restored the death penalty. And so, Sister Helen Prejean pulls out a rifle and shoots him. As a temporary measure, of course. <laughs> Faced with this extreme yes. form of punishment, the socially sick elements of our society... Now look who's talking. By that I mean criminals. Do you mean diabolic? Diabolic. I assure you that this individual whose very name reveals his antagonism to the established values of our society <laughs> will soon be brought to justice. Finally, we agree. <laughs> this criminal paranoid seems to have dedicated himself to a one-man fight against our society. <laughs> this no. black mark this manifestation of exaggerated delinquency Dorothy. has exceeded the boundaries of rational behavior. Jump. Within Jump. and without the legal structure, that is the very basis of our freedom and way of life. <laughs> awesome <clears throat> press conference, man. <laughs> he also seems to derive a great deal of pleasure from me. Oh, here's the guy. Making fun of our entire police force. He is certainly not going to make a fool of me. Nice teeth. What are you, British? <laughs> Take it off! <laughs> I really should get a line of dialogue soon. <laughs> Dan Quayle announces his candidacy. <laughs> he temporarily turned lizard. Come on, more. We haven't seen his epiglottis yet. Well, it's their mess, so they should. Gerrymandering. Actual footage. Inspector, we've discovered the center of the drug traffic. It's one of Valmo's nightclubs. We have it surrounded. Sorry, I'm having hallucinations here. Uh, Gary, you're trying too hard. The police! The police! Here. Stop! It's all over, boys. The club is surrounded. <laughs> you're all under arrest. Even you giant juice glasses. Oh, no. Abandoned ship. Sebastian Younger wrote a book about us. Hey, look. It's my nest up there. Oh, yeah. I no, see my nest. Cute. Cute. Yeah, I run the best house in town. Yeah, well, good today. It's too rough to feed you. Oh, wait, your model. Never mind. You don't need it. 
They've been inside for hours. Such a waste of us. You're okay to do. Bert Bacharach's put on some weight. Uh, just surveying my girl kingdom here. If you're not going to back us, Belmont, we'll have to withdraw from the syndicate. I'm sorry to hear you say that, Frank. You have a terribly annoying voice. Dead sorry. What flowers would you like me to order? How about whaling flowers, boss? <laughs> no, no, really. What flowers? Frank. Yeah, lilacs. You boys, you don't know when to put your heads down. After the test is done? We must wait for now. We're outside the three-mile limit, luckily. And... Uh, the SS Joanne Worley. Is that stud coming? I beg your pardon, but... <laughs> Can I have another ho-ho? When? Last night. You say all the narcotics. Uh, R and Keith Richards, yes. Do you want to, like, look at us or something? Every one of these guys is in sanitation. Yeah. Fresh. I saw you undressing me with your eyes. You see, Stan, you brought bad news. Girls, I'm about to sweat through my suit, if you want to watch. Shut up! Wow, he can afford white owls. That's enough, Jinko. Oh, man. Gotta go. Oh, don't be occupied. Don't be occupied. Get lost. Could you tell me what floor Housewares is on? Mmm, mmm. Boy, pencils are good. Mmm. Jenko here. Huge tan head here. This is Valmont. Valmont. I have nothing to say to you. I'm calling you, Inspector. Mm. On behalf of law and order. Whew. Good. I love Jerry Orbach. I would like us to make a little bargain, Inspector. You know how I bargain with your kind. First, I put you in cages. Then I teach you to sing beautifully. For once, we've got special powers. Zing. By getting you diabolic alive, and then you can arrest him. <laughs> well, well. At last, you got the idea. Joe, give me the tape recording of the meeting. Our promise keeper's meeting. We've taken a democratic vote. Five in favor of my plan, and three against it. I withdraw my vote. Don't shoot, please. I'll put a piece of my tongue in there. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Since you said please, mm. I won't shoot. <laughs> Extreme organized crime. Clean up. <laughs> If Northwest flight attendants had their way. Oh, Ralph! How nice. Tony, get dressed. Fresh air. It's Graham. <laughs> sure. <laughs> now it's unanimous. Cavernous noses are the best. So? Shall we watch Sounder? With his new emergency powers, Jinko was really putting the heat on us. If we don't play ball with him, we all wind up behind bars. Or waiting tables. So we play ball, but how? We catch Diabolic Forum. We got the know-how that the cops don't. No one's ever seen Diabolic or his girl. No one's ever seen them and lived. So what? <laughs> we got connections. We all know squealers. If all of us work together on this. We can wipe out litter. So long, diabolic. Just airing out the little sizzler. Phyllis Diller dropped by. <laughs> the plumber pulled this out of the tub drain.
Diabol Lick. Honey, I am out of cash. You want to roll around in some savings bonds? You've been asleep for 20 hours. 20 hours? I slipped you a sleeping pill. Why? When you're asleep, you don't talk to me or touch me. When you're not planning, I'm afraid you get restless. I'd rather have you sleep. Hey, your hair has a navel. Ah, they're cold gargling. Excuse me, dear. I'm expecting something. What? Watch. F taught me that move. The Foreign Office today confirmed the upcoming official visit of British Finance Minister Sir Harold Clark. Sir Harold and his charming wife, Lady Clark, will arrive here on Thursday, May 5th. May 5th? Isn't this it's your birthday? We're going over to the Andersons for dinner. Mm. What would you like me to give you? Mm, something non-penis. There must be something I haven't got. A reception is planned in their honor in historic St. Just Castle. Lady Clark will wear the famous Oxan necklace, which oh. is comprised of 11 emeralds, the most perfect in the world. Those emeralds. Typical guy, doesn't pick up the hint. Wow, the addition ah. blends right in. Got tickets? Need to. You got the time, baby? Depends, handsome. So far, I've turned down all offers. Why? What's your price? Are you planning to buy me in bulk? An emerald necklace. You're not going to give me the time, are you? <laughs> you look weathered. Hop in. You look weathered. What a nice thing to say. <laughs> yeah. Well? A young Sam Donaldson score. Lady Clark's room is... Uh, mm. is the highest window, the one that's lit up. And? That building looks like us. I saw a truck delivering some television equipment. Closed circuit TV. Ollie Spinks tonight. Many police? About 50 outside. And 30 inside dressed as waiters. Hmm. And Jinko's the chef. I didn't see Jinko. That squares my chin. If you didn't see him, he's there. Uh huh? I... Anyone notice you? Oh, one of the girls on the sidewalk asked me a few questions. She thought I was trying to move in on her feet. I figured Diabolic would make a play for those emeralds. Who wouldn't? They're beautiful. Dry up, stupid. <laughs> sure. She's a sex clown. This might be our big chance. If you're right, I'll take care of you, sweetie. Want me to describe her? Who's straight in the scene? Not to me. To Tony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell him. Time for blood pressure check, gentlemen. Well, look at that. <laughs> That's a funny-looking thing. <laughs> what is it? Hey, I'm talking to you. What is it? You'll see and don't touch. Guys, he sees us. Whoa, Shape hey. Her face. Huh? Like this? Was her face like this? No. <laughs> like this. Okay, let's go on. Her eyes. Hmm? Uh, no, no, stop there. Stop there. No, no, go back. Go back. No, what's that like that? What are you doing? No, 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 that one, that one, that one, that one. Don't move, huh? No, she wasn't Hitler. This is actually Electric Ladyland. Yeah, yeah, that's her. <laughs> Just like real. Get 5,000 copies of this printed and circulate them. She will not get away. Cleopatra drives a Jaguar. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. So nice to see you. And thanks for helping us move. Good night. Good night. Good night. I finished the magic flute, sir. Boy, glad that's over. I hope it's not. Why do you think I gave the necklace all that publicity? You'll never be able to resist those emeralds. Now we'll sit back and wait to string the trap. Oh, can't the Navy SEALs ever just come in the front door? 
knife drops her earring. Clunk. Let's go security guarding now, where everybody's learning how. Come on, on security guard with me. I'm a Nazi, but I love color. What can I do? <laughs> Hurl my skinniness at you! Stupid jerk! I'm just the postman! I exfoliate while I creep. Omaha Beach, June 5th. I was early. I have stuck at every cranny. I'm just a neighbor! We gotta get rid of that cyst. Sir Harold. Are you dead? If you don't mind, I'd like to check your room again. Please do. How romantic. It makes me feel I'm living in the days of highway robbers. Hang on. <laughs> ah, when oh. I return to London, I will have such a exciting things to tell to my Come on, friends. honey, I want you, baby. Get moving. Your butt is weird. Now for my Acme Giant pogo stick. I hate it when the party's done and you just got a couple of old people left over. No danger on this side. Slippery wall, straight down. Fly couldn't climb it. Lady Clark, may I ask you to leave your necklace on this table all night? Part of our security arrangements. Why, of course, Inspector. Anything you like. Now, I wish you both good night. Bye-bye, uh, Joe. Good night. Good night. Come along, Favaldi. We're gonna play the Montgolfier brothers. Hey, he's double bagging himself. Now I'm gonna put on a nice red one over this one. He brought his Lars Tetan cigars with him. That's good. Yeah. Oh boy, this is gonna take a long time. Yep. Yeah, he's just skittering up the wall, isn't he? <laughs> Use Wallace's trousers. I'm getting a funny feeling. Scraping sounds reverberate throughout the castle. Help! How amusing they are. They're the police. I know, dear. Are you nude yet? Marvelously attractive. I did look good, didn't I, dear? Yes. It was a nice evening. Yeah, that's after all. right. Be that old. Is sweet. <laughs> he never took his eyes off my decollete once the entire evening. Owl's got a spin off. Necklace, my dear. Don't be nasty. Uh. Hey, Mike, does Pearl offer any kind of a severance package? Because as soon as we get down to Earth, I'm going to need to buy a blue suit for interviews, and I'll probably want to blow 15 large on off-track betting. Oh, um, hang on. Hey, Pearl? Can it wait? I have to explode the nuclear core, release all the mutants, and fill out the change of address cards. Oh, oh, hey, hey, brain guy. Start pitching viruses while I shred documents. But I've got a million things to... No, oh, very well. Yes, sir, Nelson. I don't even care that you're coming back to Earth. I took me a sweet job as dictator for life of Qatar. Now they've been courting me for some time. They even sent me this beautiful basket of flavored sand. Look at that. Qatar. My first act is to get these idiots a you. And Brain Guy? Brain Guy could care less, too. He's got lots of stuff going on, right, Snow Crab? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, in fact. I <laughs> got. 
I got lots of stuff going on. <laughs> yeah, see, lots of stuff. Big white guy like him, you kidding me? <laughs> oh, actually, though, I was wondering if you guys would be interested in getting a place together after this. Oh, sorry, I actually have to live in Qatar to rule over it. Oh, plus you smell and I don't like you. Naturally. <laughs> Bobo, what about you? Well, you see, that's not going to work out for me. I just took myself an important position. At the zoo. <laughs> yep, had me a killer interview. Although I thought I'd blown it when I uh, charged the nice lady and relieved myself in her desk. <laughs> but it turns out they want me to start right away. In fact, they pursued me. Nats and stun guns, and I had to lightly maul one of my new co-workers. <laughs> but anyway, it's free room and board. And besides, I'm too important for you now. <laughs> well, I guess I'll have to take that position as the all-knowing, eternal, and universal consciousness over on Rylos 14, then. <laughs> what a loser. Oh, well, anyway, Mike, you were asking about severance. That's on page 74 of your handbook. Oh, okay, I see. Got it. Ah, uh, oh, yep. oh, we Don't. got movie signs, too. Oh. Oh. You horny old goats. <laughs> uh, hello? No coasters! <sighs> Happy Halloween. I came as powder. After this score, I'll be able to reupholster myself. Hmm, it's subtle. It takes a Buto dancer. The inside of a suit is just filthy with bronzer. Man, I hope my nougat coating doesn't wash off on the trip back. I'll take a picture using the largest camera in the world. Take a tonic. 11 Mississippi, 12 Mississippi. That's this room, I'd know it anywhere. What? Wah wah. What is it? When blank. Do you think the frost will hurt the rhubarb? Oh, rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. That's all you think about. Harold, don't be ridiculous and do come to I bed. I need a new pair of pumps. I think my feet must be growing. Ah! Salieri, Mozart, Scarlatti, you're with me. Come on. My necklace, my beautiful, beautiful emerald. Diabolic's only two feet down the tower, going as fast as he can. The camera adds 10 pounds to a room. The old couple's finally having it out. Left my suction cups in the can. What was I thinking? He has got to be a bag of sweat by now. Oh, this is what they uphold their cats with. <laughs> Capellmeister, break the door. They like to launch their fruit occasionally. Step aside, Voltaire. A flying mummy! I got him! I know I did! Let's go and see. If you got him, you get a biscuit. Okay, I'm nude and I'm still trapped in the castle. Hmm. Would you hold my hand while we watch the sunset, sir? We've been had, again. We must get word to all patrols. If he's escaping by car, they'll stop him at the roadblocks. <laughs> they'll never expect us to double back. We've done it again. <gasps> hmm? You are hurt. Hmm. Have Dr. Nye look at that tomorrow. 
But I'm bleeding pretty bad now. No, wait till tomorrow. What'll it be, ma'am? Fill it up, please. Sure thing. Okay, Mrs. Diabolic. <laughs> She's dressed like Sheridan Lacour. So Europe just looks like Hampshire, Illinois. Mm -hmm. Take that little thing on our roads, pal. You'd be in the grill of an SUV before you could say bonjourno. I'm beginning to doubt my comb over. Hmm. I think I'll get a teriyaki jerky. Well, I'm done showing men what worms they are. The tiger's in the tank, ma'am. Keep the change. Thanks. Would you like a tail? Good luck. Oh, no, thank you. I'm not superstitious. I should rub myself with new car scent and ask her out. She's getting away. What do I do? He's wearing his tropical tweeds. Oh, man, mm. swimming is great exercise. Hey, you. Hey, knock it off, will ya? <laughs> ah, we are having fun, aren't we? Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me more. Mm -hmm. The pool's all cluttered with sociables and dip. Gal! You get it. I'm coming, Alice. Gal! I need you to razor my corns again. About time. Well, you shouldn't get out of the pool until an hour after he's eaten. It's a man. Shut up. You're welcome. Who is it? It's Rudy. The girl you're after is a Bernier. Don't let her out of your sight. Are you sure no one followed you here? Yes, mm sir. -hmm. Why do you ask? Listen to me. Don't come here again. Ever. Or I'll thrust my forehead at you. What are you trying to tell me? You came here for medical advice. Yes. I'm telling you this for your health and mine. Eat more vegetables. Nurse? Yes, doctor. Take her along to the infrared room. Oh, and do all the work and make all the hard decisions at one-fourth my salary. Infrared room. Huh? Mike, I beg you to get us an infrared room now. Please, oh, please, oh, please. please. Infrared room. Um, you want me to pop this? Now, just relax. I'm going to give you the infrared treatment. It's actually kind of an infra-burnt orange. Mm. Excuse me, the fuse must have blown. Ooh, I don't blame it. <laughs> Would you like a sample of Giorgio? The punchy dighty look, sweeping Europe. The death of Greg Allman. Well, he should have called by now. Relax. Don't do it. We've got him in a box. He's too far gone in the girl. Is she very beautiful? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> They're too smart to ask stupid questions. No, I'm not. Hold it. I'm glad I paneled the basement. Now I can finally entertain. No. String up some speakers. It's gonna be great. Bad guy. Enterprise One, three, three, three. I saw your ad regarding white Jaguar. How new are the tires? What's your price? Ten million dollars. Plus? Dealer and prep. An emerald necklace. Right. Hey, and don't try to pull any of that funny stuff, huh? I've got a couple of experts at dealing with women here. Dudley Moore and Rick James. You might not find it too easy to recognize her afterwards. No, I was calling about a white Jaguar. Um, I accept your conditions. That's what I like to hear. He has a pillow top face. Yes. Meet me at Sippy's at the break in airport. You sounded nice. Get me Inspector Jinko. Welcome, Dr. Meacham. So, do you like my cool conversion plane? 
Ah, they're going to put him over the trap door and drop him three feet. You had more than one carry on, you bastard. I have a flashing appointment. Is this going to take long? Check them. It's full of Gina Tay friction poorly bond. We're seeing the plane's private parts. It all seems to be here. Well, I'm a cartoon walrus. <laughs> <laughs> the necklace. When I've got Eva back. No necklace, no Eva. That's the deal. Is that the only deal you've got going today, Valmon? I don't have to talk. I'd rather just cuddle. I could kill you instead. Go ahead. All you've got to do is push that button. That didn't have the impact I'd hoped for. Valmont, this is most unprofessional. Boss, we're over the target now. We need any discount items? Circle this spot. Gotcha. Excuse me. That's where Eva is. Boss, you look chilly, so I brought you this. Ever jumped before? That one's from the teeter-totter, yeah. Nope. First the necklace. Hold it. I'll take it. Well, I was just reaching for my snotty Kleenex, but sure. Now. Ew, it's all warm from your pocket. Like how I quickly showed all three of your faces? Yeah. But I'm an evil mastermind! <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. My leg is turning one dimensional. Peanut dust! When I stumbled, I attached a magnetic capsule to your plane. Who cares? Pull the cord! Pull the cord! No, it's pulled the string! I know it's a trap, Belmont. Is Eva down there or only Jinko? Yeah, yeah! She's there! In the cabin! And Jinko! Is Jinko down there too? Yeah, yeah! Like wow, well, man, yeah! Great, it's a picnic umbrella. Really missed Yankee Stadium. Ow, I crushed all my Pringles. It's a trap. Valmont's made a deal with Jinko. Are you all right? If my wig is straight, I'm fine. Damn you, Jinko. Oh, there's people coming. I gotta straighten up. Rat Patrol 2? Man. They're trucking in Nittany Lions. Is it too windy back there? Next birthday, I'm taking you to Olive Garden. You hide back in the cabin. I'll draw their fire. If they get me, you know what to do. Hook up with some other idiot? But... Ooh. Run, or they get us both. Okay, I'll go find Nova and hang with her for a while. I thought you guys were going to take the coast road. Where'd you go? Inspector, we've got him this time. He's surrounded. Ha, huh. they don't know about my pencil-thin arms. George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Good job, Tree. Take it easy. Aha! I'll give away my position! <laughs> I was cleaning the erasers! Hey, and I let you ride on my parachute. I must remember to have my face resharpened.
Damn, I'm out of staples. I've got you, Tim. Come on out. Valmont, don't play the hero. Oh, Valmont's playing the hero. Why does that not surprise me? You know, pacing is so important to a what? movie. Right. Yeah, I'll just try this again. Don't, don't, don't. I gotta play the hero. Don't, don't, don't. Don't, don't. Now. Diabolic! Give up! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. I gotta get a send send. Damn childproof spy stuff. My steel reusable fleet. Maybe I can run real fast and push it into him. I wasn't getting enough iron. Swallowed a silver thing, we're sunk. This could be a long standoff. I'd better take care of, uh, you know. Uh, Spock, are you going back? Wonder if I can see my backyard from up here. Aha! Uh -huh. Been a hard day's night. D Diabol? Diab? How you doing? Ugh, he's dead. I have a huge forehead. What else can go wrong? Good night, sweet thin guy. A flight of jaguars sing thee to their rest. Oh, I suppose he's young and has hair, and that means I'm just crap. So, this is the famous Diabolic. Yes, Doctor. Get him ready. Yes, sir. Inspector, thank you. Oh, 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 he's oh, oh, dead. Oh, Was he poisoned? Dr. Ferrar is performing the autopsy. I'm playing gear shift. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> we'll begin with a circular incision. Scalpel. Oh, that's a scalpel? Oh, I use that. Oh, I'm gonna get that nose out of the way. Just give me a little room to work. Here, I'll do my own autopsy. Thanks. I'm not Werner Klemperer. Please don't hurt me. You know, Quincy wouldn't take crap like this. <laughs> right. <laughs> Krushan, Doctor. The Tibetan Lamas have used it for 3,000 years. It brings on a state of suspended animation for 12 hours. But if you're not given the antidote, the apparent death becomes real. Uh, anyway, I'll get back on the table. How long's it been, Eva? Well, it shrank when you died. Oh. 11 hours and 57 minutes. Give or take 11 hours. Sergeant. Lick me. This is our friend Valmont's certificate. He completed piano book one. Cause of death? Eleven machine gun shots. Eleven emeralds. And one pimple. Eleven bullets. Oh. To the morgue. I'm really hungry. There. Ralph Valmont, if you'll just sign this here, 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 and here. Four times. Four times, yes. Let's see, Anonymous P. Hancock. I'll take a pack of Marlboros, too. He was basically a good boy. Always sent money to Mama. <coughs> Hang on, big oyster. <coughs> there, there. Buck up. I'll see if I have this in your size. Mm, the baked beans already. He'll soon be home at last. He's in peace now. Let's see whether he's ready yet. Please. 
I put some semolina flour in him so he'll have a nice crispy crust. Yes, he's ready. For some football. Mm. Every time. I'm about to close. Some jerk wants to be cremated. I reflect on man's instinct. <laughs> have you ever seen a... Ooh. Excuse me, could you tell me where the... Uh, so no, then, I guess. Well, let's face it, this guy operates on unbelievable luck and coincidence. Yep. Excuse me, please, could you tell me where the doctor is? He's in shock. What? But I have an appointment to be cremated. Mein Führer, I can walk! Good. Ooh. Don't look. Ooh. You know, sometimes O-rings can twist and lose their structural integrity. Uh, who am I kidding? That's not gonna happen. No, that's all I got. Two. Two breast emeralds. Uh, uh, uh. Three. Four, five, six. Right, right, seven, eight. Right, right, right. Eight. Nine. Okay. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah, what else could you get me? Now, last year, he just went to the gas station and got some of those underpants folded up like a rose. <laughs> World record pencil eraser. I'll start my Russian dance as soon as you're done here. Uh, Inspector, we have followed your instructions to the letter. 20 tons of gold melted into one big ingot. Nobody in the world could possibly steal it, considering the weight. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Whip it good, everyone. <laughs> You'd have to sweat for two days to open that. Mm -hmm. I remain cool and dry, sir. Of course, our gold reserves certainly have uh, dwindled recently. And someone's been taking paper clips. Only since everyone stopped paying taxes. We have to sell the gold to get hard currency. Ooh, I'm glad he said currency. Oh, well, don't say goodbye. Or in the convoy. Chicken in the bread pan, picking up dough. Operation Gold Van. Operation Gold Van. This is Inspector Jinko speaking. Can you read me? Over. I read you loud and clear. Over. The train's left. I will be calling you at 10 minute intervals. Hmm. Over and out. Hmm. Sounds like my uncle blowing his nose. Hmm. Okay. Nazis commute to work. Panic. Yes, sir. Take over up front. Yes, sir. Yes, I'm king of the front of the train. <laughs> Phew, I wish we Europeans believed in showering. How long does it take for breadsticks to bake? Who would have thought one of these networks would have put the other out of business by now? Hans, crack that window, will ya? Five. Crap, what's the next number again? Five. Attention. Attention. Operation Goldvan. Paging Mr. Herman. To all patrols along the line, attention. Train is underway. Red flash alert. Report all suspicious movements in vicinity of right of way. Arrest all persons loitering near tracks as well, per your special do orders. Yeah. Search Don't all cars near attempting the tracks. to approach nope. railway. Attention. Do you read me, Patrol 39? Mm-hmm. Patrol 39 acknowledging. We're proceeding with plan. Oh, hey, and there's me by the giant fiberglass muskie in Hayward, Wisconsin. Wow, Mike, I can't wait to see all the wonders of your amazing planets. Yeah, me neither. You know, Crow is going to love it. Hey, Crow, Crow. <laughs> Crow? Crow? <laughs> Mike, I don't want to go. I'm, I'm scared. I think he wedged himself under the desk. <laughs> oh, brother, come on out of there, you big lily-livered, scaredy earth. Hey, <laughs> come on, take it easy. What's the matter, little pal? Well, well, well the, the earth is so big, and there's traffic accidents at all those open spaces, and, and there's wild pigs. I want to stay here. Yeah, I thought this might happen, so I wrote a little song, kind of to help with the jitters. That song? Uh, Servo? 
Gypsy, will you help me out? Well, lay on, Cole Porter. Right, let's go. I know it's hard to leave this little satellite of ours. Mm -hmm. We've had some fine adventures. We danced among the stars. We did? And though we're far out space nuts, no matter where I roam, there's just no other planet like the planet I call home. Wisconsin? Mm, no, actually, I was thinking To Earth. Yeah, yeah. The very birthplace of my birth. <laughs> the thought of Earth fills me with mirth. Hey, maybe we'll meet Colin Firth. That is a possibility. <laughs> See <laughs> the blossoms on an apple tree. <laughs> to wander barefoot by the sea. And slice your heel upon a broken bottle of Lipton iced tea. Come on, clam it, Shorty. You're not helping. The Earth's a big and scary place with wars and crime and death. It is? They listen to Sean Mullins and Alanis Morissette. Oh, no! This satellite has been my home. I've never known another. Either. Where will I live? What will I do? And can I keep my mother? Absolutely. Mom! Okay. Oh, no. Then it's to Earth we'll go to stay. <laughs> Sylvan Vines will romp and play. Yeah. Oh, but what if I get eaten by a dog or by a manta ray? Let's, Let's go. go. There's so much that we don't know. It's Gypsy it's Servo, Mike, Mike and Crow. I'm scared of water buffalo. Exotic lands will come to know. We'll all get mugged in Chicago. We'll bid the satellite farewell. And then we'll go to Earth. Well, now I think I'd rather stay. To Earth. I wish to hell you would say to Earth. <laughs> well, now I can't wait to go. Show me that giant fiberglass musky. That's the spirit. Hey, Tom, where was that pic? Tom? Tom? Well, I think he wedged himself under the desk. Uh oh. Great. Now I'm going to have to write a whole new song. We'll be right back. Uh, help. Oh, there, there. Sorry, ma'am, I'm gay. Oh, I wore that hitchhiking once. Yeesh. Can I help you? Oh, thanks. I could use a lift. Yeah, sure. If I could borrow that belt. I ran out of gas. Oh, I'm so tired. If you could just uh, drop me at a motel, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'll worry about the car in the morning. In my skimpy nighty. Oh, oh, my suitcase. I'll get it. I borrowed Harvey Fairstein's voice. Happy to get it. Oh, you're so <laughs> nice. Happy to get it. Happy. Uh, always glad to help a lady in. Here's dress. I bought the largest toddler jumper I could find. Would you stop being stealthy and just get in the truck? Crying out loud. Turns out Diabolic can't drive a stick. I usually wear my driving thong. It's not unusual to steal trucks from anyone. Da -da 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 -da. This is so mentosy. Crap, I'm supposed to be driving. <laughs> oh, diabolic adds to his trail of charred and dismembered bodies. George Jones drives a truck. <laughs> We're beautiful and you're a loser. Ah, it's delightful and charming that they triumphed again in the name of sex. Hey, can I get a ride, please? Okay, fine. Twisting a repeat. Jinko here. Jinko here. Jinko here! What's happened? Reginald Perrin's on that train. Flaming truck at Brixton, 20 minutes late. Joan? He's probably mined the entrances to the tunnel. We can't afford to take chances. We've drained the chances taking budget. We're backing out before. Oh, wait, no, we're not. 
Just as I thought, the tunnel's been blocked by two explosions. Luckily, we're clear. Are we still on for dinner? The train will have to be rerouted. Wait. Three miles back, there's the Arville Marshalling Yard. Ooh. From there, take the unused line that crosses the bay on the Lawrence Bridge. Ooh. I'll hit the slot machine first. I only learned one lick. Doesn't bug you at all. Gotta practice my lick. Only one hour more. Listen, someone's beating up Dak Severinsen. Hello. Ah, that was a great finch. <laughs> perfect, Jinko, perfect. Whoopee! Huh, should have gotten a sleeper car. I didn't know this movie would take so long. Man, Von Ryan really fell back. Bye, Von Ryan. Bye. How more innocent people killed because of Diabolic's whims. Oh, oh, he's wonderful. <laughs> rogue. Something happened? No. Headquarters to Operation Gold Van. <laughs> Headquarters to Operation Gold Van. I can't hear you. You're drowned out. The ocean is heavily chlorinated. I put this rope up so the sharks stop bothering me. Hey, wait, she's a man. Ooh, yuck. Uh, he found the ocean's plug. Now he's going to drain it. Hey, and bring those paper towels over here. I spilled a little. I don't think the rain gear is going to help at this point. My tanks are filled with Paul Mitchell products. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Lyrics by Chachi. <laughs> you know, I heard the song is Wee Wee Wee. This is kind of an interesting interpretation. Farting a mile a minute. You're a zero. Hey! What? Hey! What, Mike? What do you want? Uh, no, I. Rush okay, thing. Thing. Never mind. Kind of hard to drive with fins on, isn't it? Uh, how do you start this thing? Hey, that's Fonzie joining in with a whoa, whoa. Release baking soda and away! It's crazy that Titanic would be a cinch. Just get a bunch of party balloons. You know, nobody goes to this kind of trouble anymore for frankincense or myrrh. Ribbit, sir. Well? Nothing, Inspector. The gold's not there. We searched everywhere. Why, what do you mean it's not there? It weighs 20 tons. If it's heavy, it has to be there. What do you mean it's not there? It's blue. Hey, Bollock really likes to tinker in his garage. Honey, are you gonna come up? I made you a ham sandwich. He's on the David Cassidy workout program. Boy, label makers have really come a long way. Uh, we'll put it right in here. I wish more gold would get this test done. It would save a lot of lives. Yeah. Good. This laser gun can melt anything. Except you, honey. Nice that gold melts at a lower temperature than steel. The only way we can get it. Oh, I'm gold. I'm hard to steal. Well, eat me, gold. Sure.
Can I get you a cappuccino, sir? Jaco here. Inspector. I'm Mr. Wilson. We allowed you to take all these extravagant measures so that the gold would reach its destination without fail. And now, what do I hear? What am I to report to the minister? What is he to tell to Parliament that we are a bunch of helpless jackasses? Mm -hmm. Let's not exaggerate. Exaggerate? Don't be funny. Like Fred Travelina, sir? Well, Professor. Yes? 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 There are spots. Good. There are traces. Traces of what? Love. Radioactivity. As a precaution, I had part of the container holding the gold radioactivated. Stop talking. Then there's a chance of recovering it. You be careful. Don't worry. With this suit, I could swim through the center of the sun. Well, that's what it said in the catalog, anyway. Wow. That enhugens his face. Mmm, canker sore. Oh, whoa, whoa, turn it down. You're getting gold everywhere. The government's French dressing storehouse. <laughs> Remember when I said that about the gold? It was great. It was great. <laughs> Sorry, I drank too much coffee and ate a lot of asparagus. Ooh. Oh, Dr. Fives is drunk again. The bed wedding alarm. What does it mean? Someone's broken in. Let's go swim through the sun. Kind of glad I didn't install a bagpipe alarm. I need to get out of this play suit. Run. I'll meet you in tunnel number seven. I'll never find us there. Why aren't you coming now? I've got to open the locks. And bagels. They'll drown like rats. I'll wait for you. I'm not going alone. Who will inflate my lips? Eva, you'll not be alone while I live. You can stay with my mom. Now go. Mm -hmm. Keep, keep going. Keep, keep going further. Go. The box of men got out. That suit has to be a little constricting. Uh, you know he's taping and tucking. Oh, he's gotta be. Yo, oh, my own shotgun trap, I keep forgetting. Okay, jeez. I got you. Kato, no! Well, I'm sorry if you're offended by my random murders. Well, it's boiling over. Now the house is going to smell like burnt gold. Great. Haha, <laughs> I'm useless against your weapons. I mean... Diabolic! Diabolic! You're finished! You're finished! The exits are, the blocked. Exits are blocked! I'll bulge my eyes at you! Oh, I forgot to wear swimming through the sunproof socks. Ow. Some kids get covered with molten gold when they sit and spin. Uh, <laughs> suit didn't work as well as I thought. He's a golden gumby. Gold everything. Wow, wow, wow. Is that a pack of baboons? <laughs> Thank you very much. Sir, is it true you're dating Ben Affleck? Barbaric display in the body of a fallen enemy. The minister? Besides, it's good for him. Isn't it cool? <laughs> yes. Kind of stupid to have an underground observatory. Order this place to be cleared. Yes, sir. Oh, fuck. Everybody out. I took a swizzle stick. All right, now, please leave. This way, please. 
Ah, there ain't no story here. I'm just gonna write about the internet. These guys are part of the Rhythm Nation. Nothing tired. They're raiding my refrigerator. Oh, f and the movie just kind of peters out. Well, let's see if we can find another hero somewhere else. I'll sneak out while he has no peripheral vision. Did she get stuck in a bear's behind? Hmm? I thought I heard someone laughing at my outfit. Oh, well. Well, this place looks cavernous, but it's only got a little cramped kitchenette. Oh, Shouldn't the sandpiper start singing right about now? Well, I'm off to the Iditarod. What's that stain up there? If only he'd been drenched in zero coupon bonds. Stabilize our economy, but it's hard to accept. Man, we had so many innocent people left to murder. Yeah. When you move your car, you park me in. I was expecting your inspector. I was inspecting your expecting when I expectorated your injector, inspector. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist seeing him. Please. Get bent. Give me a few seconds more. Alone. Oh, man, my nose itches. Well, you guys have never tricked me, so I guess it's okay. Well, once this giant mink gives birth to me, I'll help you, honey. Invest me wisely. Hey, watch the hand. Not to take anything away from Diabolic, but this guy was not the sharpest arch nemesis. No, that's not to say anything bad about Diabolic. Not to take not anything away from him. Thank you, Inspector. You don't know how. Grateful I am. It's basically an eyebrow delivery system. Oh man, there's a cold Heineken sitting right there. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't really seem like he comes out ahead. No, really. <laughs> hey, who turned off the lights? This has been the official biopic of Larry Fine. Tom, what's our situation? Beginning re-entry, Mike. Good. Oh, total heat shield failure, Mike. Bad. Well, what's going on? Deck three broken away. Oh. Oh. Deck four broken away. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, Camelot, give me rocket number nine. Oh, Nelly. Oh. Deck five broken away. Deck six broken away. Oh. Deck seven melting and broken away. Gypsy, what do we do? We burn up horribly. It's too dreadful to contemplate. Oh my God in heaven, please have mercy on our soul. I'll call Pearl. Uh oh, toxic gas filling our lungs and our nasal passages. Pearl! Now sing, damn it, sing. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way. Look, Nelson, move on. I am. Nine crash into decks 10 and 11. This is it. We're going down. Brace for impact. We're all going to die. Mike, have you seen my other sweater? Yeah! Ah! 
<laughs> boy, oh boy, this Conjipsco stock is up. I mean, way up. Well, Gypsy did want to let us in on her public offering, but we said no. Well, if you remember, I made a fart noise. She only took it as a no. Yeah. Well, still, it all worked out. I mean, we were very fortunate to walk away from that crash. Oh, so, yeah. I guess if we were all multi-billionaires, you guys wouldn't have moved in with me. True. Yeah, that's right. Sweet garden-level living. One bedroom, one half bath, and on the bus line. Sweet. Yeah. Hey, who's for rice? Would you sit down? The movie's about to start. Come here, dummy. WTMJ TV in Milwaukee presents our Saturday afternoon movie, The Crawling Eye. The Crawling Eye, the Marty Feldman story. Oh, Forrest Tucker, he's the guy that makes sure the tree's shirt tails are in. <laughs> this movie looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? Hmm. Is that stud coming? <laughs> <laughs> 